Well, one of the challenges was when we made the decision to, uh, in a, a very intentional way, to go after uh, students from the Hispanic community. Um, and uh, there were some in, in uh, supporters of the institution who thought we should not do that. Uh, but um, if you're only 6% of the population and, and you're in competition with seven other institutions in the city, uh, you've got to, to spread your wings if you expect to survive. Um, we did it anyway, and I think about uh, between 20 and 25 percent of the student population is Hispanic at this point. So that ended and we had a, a an Hispanic Miss UNCF uh, from your school. From 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 my school, yes. And we had a a Du Bois uh, scholar who was uh, uh, not African American as well. Uh, so the 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 importance of reaching out to everyone who wanted to come was something I thought was important. Uh, we would never ever give up our, our legacy and our, our mission of being an HBCU. But that did not mean that you couldn't attract other students. In fact, I thought we would be strengthened by having a more diverse student body. And in the end, you said there was some pushback, at least initially. Do you feel that that has become more of a accepted reality within that particular school or um, HBCUs in general, the I, inclusivity? I, th I think it's become certainly more um, accepted in, in, in Texas, where uh, you have a large Hispanic population. But I've been um, impressed to visit a number of other HBCUs that are not in Texas that also uh, have been attracting uh, uh, significant numbers of Hispanic students.